Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca and it is day 11 of Logmas 2021. So in today's video, I've got a massive quilter studio update, which I'm really excited about. And I have a couple of advent calendar packages to open, so we'll get to those too. Before we open the goodies from Cotton Cuts and Missouri Star, let me tell you what's going on with my quilter studio because I am so excited. Today, I feel like I can actually start to see this space coming together and it's taken a little while. It's all been in my head, but now the vision that's in my head and Mary's, rightfully so, since she's running Point as project manager, is starting to come out of here and go into that space. It's so cool to see this progress happening. Martyr owns Capital Builders Group, and so you may hear me reference his name throughout the rest of Logmas because his company's out here doing all the work. Mary, for those of you that are new here, is my friend who is a realtor slash future designer, upcoming designer, who is helping me run like project management in this space. So she's helping me design it. She's helping me carry my vision from out of here into there and make sure that I'm thinking about all of those little details. So what we'll actually see as the finished product will be really her design based on the requirements that I've given to her. Martyr's guys have been out here all week working really hard and it really shows. It feels like it's been a little bit since I've given you a visual of the space, so I'm putting that on the screen for you right now. Over this past week, Martyr's guys have leveled out that garage floor because it was sloped before. They've removed any wood that looked like it had signs of termite damage, pulled it out and replaced it with nice solid headers, footers, and I think there was one stud that needed to be reinforced just to make sure that everything was structurally sound. We got the subfloor in, we've got all the studs ready, the headers and footers are ready, we are ready to hang drywall, but before we do, we want the electrician to come out and run electrical and install all of the outlets in the spaces that we actually need them. And this is where I actually got to come in and have a little bit of input with Martyr instead of just telling Mary and letting her handle all of the stuff. Martyr wanted to know where I'm going to put all of my furniture, and that was really hard for me to understand. I knew how big my pieces of furniture were, and I knew how big that space was, and I kept drawing it out on graph paper, but it just felt like I wasn't doing it to scale, and I wasn't able to actually visualize where the things could really fit in there. It felt like my math had to have been off. So Martyr did me a solid. He came in, he measured my sewing cabinet, which is where I have my computer, my cameras, my sewing machine. He measured my Martelli table, and I already had the measurements for my long arm to include the amount of space I wanted on either side, left and right, and back behind the frame so I could get back there and work on the machine. This is what he did, you guys. He took those measurements. He asked me where Mary and I had been thinking about putting the furniture, and I told him. He took the time to pull out some blue tape and mark up the subfloor with all of the areas where I want my Martelli table, my long arm, and what I call my desk, which is really my sewing cabinet. Once I saw those areas on the subfloor marked out, I realized just how massive this studio is really going to be. I have room for all of the things. I think we'll have the doors before then, but the windows aren't going to be here till mid-February, which means I'm not going to get all that beautiful natural light coming in through the windows like I have today sitting here. When I'm working in the studio, it's going to be artificial lighting for a while. But here's the thing that I am also excited about. We have heard from Martyr that we are on track to have the Quilter Studio completely up, functioning, finished out, painted, trim, floor, electric, everything, well before the windows get here. I don't know what day that is, but it may be entirely possible that by the end of this year, I'm working in that studio, maybe even by Christmas. Ah, I, I'm just completely blown away. I won't have my windows until February, but he's going to insulate it. He's going to have it 
able to heat itself. It's going to be comfortable to work in and I can start setting up, organizing and even sewing from there, which means that this family room can start transitioning into a family room. So all great updates, super excited about all of them. And I feel like I could just keep repeating myself because I'm so excited about all of it. The electrician comes today. So I am sure at some point I'm going to lose power to half of my house because he's going to have to kill the electric panel so that he can work out in the garage. I think it's sometime this afternoon. We'll see what happens. That's a lot of fun stuff. Let's dive in to day 11 from Cotton Cuts and Missouri Star. Here we go. Day 11 from Missouri Star and rando package from Cotton Cuts. I will say, I've said this before, I will say this. In future years, when Cotton Cuts does this advent calendar, I would really like it if they just put numbers on here. I love the little sayings, but I would love to know that I'm ordering, opening them in the same order as anybody else doing the uh, Vlogma series where they're unpackaging these items. I always open Cotton Cuts first. Today's going to be no different. Cotton Cuts, let's take a look. So this is the package and it says a cut above... I have no idea what's going to be in here, but it does say a cut. So I'm wondering, I'm feeling, is this a rotary cutter? What is this? Ah! Oh! Wow! Okay, it is a rotary cutter, but it's not just any rotary cutter. It is a Kai rotary cutter. I love my Kai snips, my Kai scissors, my Kai everything. I used to buy gingham all the time and the guys over at So Yeah were talking about how great the Kai professional series scissors are. They were massively expensive, but I pulled the band-aid and I bought the professional series and I love them. They feel comfortable in my hand. I don't mind cutting with scissors anymore and they cut really nice. So I am pro Kai anything. I did not know that they made a rotary cutter, but apparently they do because here is one. Let me show this to you a little bit closer. This is the Kai rotary cutter that we received. It is a 28 millimeter blade, which means the blade up here is smaller than what we usually work with when we're working with our 45 millimeter, or if you have it, a 60 millimeter blade. The smaller the blade, the easier it is to get your rotary cutter around curves when you're cutting fabric. So this will be really ideal for any curved cutting you need to do. It does say that this is good for cutting cloth leather, vinyl, film, and paper. I would advocate for using this on fabric, leather, maybe vinyl, and maybe not paper because I, I feel like the paper could dull the blade. This is a stick rotary cutter, which I don't typically love. I really like my Martelli rotary cutter because, and I'll show you down here, it's got a handle that allows me to hold it in an ergonomic position. My finger rests on top of it and I can cut in this motion and my wrist can stay nice and parallel with my surface. I feel like I get a better grip on my rotary cutter and I do a better job cutting straight especially from a sitting position with my Martelli rotary cutter than I do with a stick. And I will say the longer I have used this, the more I rely on it and the harder it is for me to use something like this. That said, this is an awesome rotary cutter and I'm not upset at it. It's an expensive notion because I, it's Kai. I'm kind of blown away that we have this. I'm excited to have it. There are times when a 28 millimeter rotary cutter is great to have. And I'm happy to add another Kai notion to my arsenal. Way to knock it out of the park, Kim. Missouri Star, day number 11. But before we dive into this package for 2021, let's take a peek back and see what we got in day 11, 2018. It's a pattern by Sue Daily Designs, One Shape Wonders. We got a package of little English paper piecing. I said in my original video, foundation paper piecing, but English paper piecing templates and a pattern to make a lovely quilt 
from Sue Daly. I have never done English paper piecing. It's one of those things that's on my bucket list. I really would like to try one. And I think the easiest way to try one might be with some hexes. What do you think? If you've done English paper piecing and you have an idea for a good beginner friendly project for somebody who has never hand sewed a single stitch in their life, leave in the comments down below. I'd love to give it a shot. Let's see what we have in 2021. Here's the bag and do you hear that? It jangles a little bit. It sounds like some Rudolph action going on. I wonder if I'm breaking the item inside. <laughs> this yesterday. <laughs> Last night on my live, I made lanyards, which you could make longer and put around your neck for like a badge for work, or you could make smaller into little wristlet straps or keychain holders. <laughs> and I did not have all the hardware that I wanted for it, so I made do. But don't worry, because we got the pattern and hardware to make some key pops. So now I can spend some time making them the right way, the way I actually wanted to make them. Let me show you a little bit closer. We have a pattern that shows you how to make a simple sparkle key fob, and honestly, this is really easy to do. I showed you how to make it in my live video last night. Super, super easy. The pattern's really well written. On the back, it tells you what you need. It does look like they spruce it up a little bit by color blocking the little fabric swatches. So that's cool. But you do have a package of hardware from Dritz. There are a number in here. There are five clamps and five split rings. So with this, you'll be able to make five keychains. And this is actually going to be a lovely Christmas gift for friends and family. This actually works because what we do for Christmas is the adults that we give gifts to, we buy them one store-bought gift and we give them a handmade gift, even if it's something small. We started that a few years ago. It's usually something that I make sitting at my sewing machine, and it's gone over really well. Last year, I gave everybody a bowl cozy, and everybody loved it. Everybody loved the bowl cozy, and I have had people asking for more of those just throughout the year. So maybe this year, I can give everybody a little keychain, because you should be able to knock this out in an afternoon, definitely less than an afternoon. Awesome. I can put those to use right away. That's Vlogmas Day 11. Thanks for diving in with me. Tomorrow is Vlogmas Day 12, which means it is the last package from Cotton Cuts. And it's going to be a sad day, but don't worry, because on day 13, I have another advent calendar to take the place of the time that we've been spending with Cotton Cuts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and come on back tomorrow. I'll see you all then. Bye.